It stares into my soul. <laughs> what happened? We can house all the brothers here. We will never freeze. Is it just. So this is a pretty nifty place. After doing some adjustments to my mic, I think I might have fixed a few things. But um, this is basically a very adventurous sort of world that exists. I don't know how much of it is very explorable. But um... Yeah, someone introduced me to this place. Ever since then, I, I've been looking forward to seeing how it develops. To my understanding, it's an underdeveloped sort of map. And they wanted to make it kind of parkour-ish. So yeah, that really has my interest as someone who's into that kind of stuff. Just because it really adds a uh, whole nother aspect to like going around and about a place. It's just a lot more to see, smell, and kind of behold, take in. And really, they did really well on this place. I had to double check to myself that I was still a stormtrooper. Yeah, it's very ambient, very atmospheric. Eh. I don't think this is really anything right here, but I'm jumping about it anyway. Yeah, screw that. <laughs> Sorry, right. continue taking a look around here. Yeah, quite notably, this place is very big. And it loads in pretty quickly, is what I really liked about it. Let's see. The world I am in. Sketchu's Forest. Yeah, it's very nice. To my understanding, they also make um, models. What is this? What am I? I can't see myself. Can't tell. Help! I'm confused. <laughs> I'm lost and I'm confused. What do I do? <laughs> but, um, no, let's go onward. Hey. That's on my head. Probably figure out something later, but onward, adventure. Your destiny awaits. Of sorts. I feel really short. Not that that's a really a problem, but I feel really short. Alcohol. <gasps> yes, I know how to throw things. I'm just not very proficient at it. I wonder if they're gonna do anything with up here. Wait, wait. Eh. Can I go through the window? No! The window was a lie. I wonder if certain models would be able to actually fit through that.
I think we were just able to climb this, yes. Yes, very cool. Pretty sure there was something here. I can feel it. Eh. I can't tell if I'm just really short, so I can't find it. At this point, you're probably thinking to yourselves. Didn't you just show us a thing that seems like it was from the same art style, perhaps? Well, you would be correct. I absolutely did. I'm pretty sure I'm one of those things. Eh. But I'm so lost. And I'm short. Er, now. Hmm. Secret place. By the way, a lot of these uh, models have very jiggly features, like the hair and such. Or as these little um, ball things that I currently am. Yeah, it's like, where it reminds me of like, um, like one of those one water-filled rubber balls that jiggles all over the place whenever you poke it or something. Yeah, I'm taller. I have like floppy ears. Whee! If memory serves, the mouth also works pretty decently. I think we're above a cloud layer. Hmm. Hmm. Let's take a look around this. Yours. Hmm. Oh, an apple. Can I pick it up? Can I eat it? No. Okay. Eh. I'm gonna see if I can parkour this place. What the? Something's stopping me. Okay. There's a tiny island. Definitely has a Minecrafty feel, but it's also a flat world. Let's see. Is that? I'm trying to decide if that's grass or sand texture. Hey, pal! Cool outfit. Um. Yeah. You see this? This is poor maintenance right here. Someone should be harvesting these. Like making all kinds of books and bookshelves and all kinds of things. Fireworks. That stupid joke. happen if I went all the way up there. Adventure! This is probably the dumbest idea ever. Is that blocks or cat that's playing?
Adventure! Goodbye, crew world! Oh. Oh. Hmm, this has my curiosity. What kind of sick bathroom is this? There's only a toilet in here. And the mirror is all the way at the bottom. Uh, and a window. Oh, there's a mirror right there also. What's that? Where does that go to? Oh. Psh. <laughs> I did not see that at all. <laughs> That's interesting. Let me just um, over that. Yeah, my little tiny roach. Where's this go to? The hub again. I swear you were obsessed with the hub. Ah. Okay, I made that. Where does this go to? Nothing? This goes to nothing. Disappoint. Dishonor. Dishonor on you. Dishonor on your cow. Dishonor on that toilet. Roof. What all those are about. Can't really. Hmm. Oh, so I can select those from here. Where is the selection on my screen note? <laughs> I'm blind. <laughs> So this one's quiet, but it's basically the same thing model-wise as the other two, but smaller. Also, hmm. Eh. Alright, back to Tiny Roach. I don't really see anything else to this one. Oh. This one sounds exciting, let's go! <laughs> Please be bullet hell, please be bullet hell, please be bullet hell, please be bullet hell. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. I have faith in you. I have faith in you. Oh my lord. It's beautiful. Wait, what the hell is this? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> is that what I think it is? Oh my god. And they have music. Snake, eh, the drunk one, they're great, I see you're a man of culture as well, Yuyuko, eh, 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 frog waifu, hong mailing, name slips here right now, but, um, uh, Trying so hard. Ren? No. Ran. I think. It was one or the other. I'm very rusty. This one I never actually knew the name of. Um, from that one anime with like adventurers. Kawaii Dragon Desu. Um, a trap. Check this one, it was a furry. 
the strongest of all, Cerno. Or it's Cherno. I'm not sure which it was. How it's pronounced, I mean. I don't know what this is. I think that's a chocolate bar, maybe? Either way, he's done for. Can of beans. Alien with a wig. Eh. Eh. Hmm. This is just too holy. Um, let's see. My anime sticky watches. Don't know. Don't know. Don't. Her name eludes me, but that is clearly a Nintendo. The um, Undertale lady. Some sort of fairy. Some something something money. I assume this has something to do with Geico. Or it might be pro progressive. Nah, it must be Geico. I know what it feels like. Somebody's watching me, and I have no privacy. Let's see. It's like. Bandito version of that one. I checked this one. It is a lot like this one, actually. Not a lot of these are soldiers. Hmm. Don't know. That's another sort of soldier sort of ask one. And then Winnie the Pooh. Mm hmm. I mail. I need more blindfolds. This one's false advertising. Mmm, yummy. Scoop, scoop, scoop. Now let's get to the most obvious, most important thing you can learn in VR chat. That's making a perfect circle. And that involves these markers. So what you do, you look straight down. Actually, first let's um kind of want to get this about as far down pointed as we can. Look straight down. Hold left click. You want to turn and reel your mouse back while you're turning. This allows you to make sure you're still pulling it down as you turn. And in turn, you're always hitting rock bottom. And voila, a perfect circle. Now, it's considerably doable to make a bigger sort of circle. But it, um, as for making it perfect, that would take either the patience of the hand with great coordination, or it would probably take botting, like macro stuff. And the benefits of making a circle is so you can try to be all full metal alchemist and transmute your kid brother or something. Now this is clearly the most important skill you can possibly learn. I drew that by the way. Trust me, it's the most important skill you can possibly learn. So ultimately, this has been basically a me screwing around kind of video. Just sort of taking a look into VR chats, seeing what it has, and yeah, what's really interesting is that you can basically make and submit your own sort of worlds and your own models and such into the game. Whether it be like to your account or to the worlds and such. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. I'm Froman Solstice 25, Winter Solstice 8, and you have yourselves a good day. I can make this work. And bye bye.